It's all fictitious. The fog of obscurity is vicious and cutting into someone's ego is never a soft incision. The idea that something is fake is seen as an awful vision. How long has it been since our perception of the facts has lost its precision? Sweet dreams and fairy tales seem to stimulate the psyche very well. If you allowed yourself to be led on by these misapprehensions, then you'd be left with an empty trail. I'd rather be misunderstood instead of having misconceptions. But if your beliefs are co coerced, it doesn't matter if they're corrected. Fiction is seemingly more appealing than a vixen, yet the concept far exceeds everything that is written. If being disingenuous was a crime, then most of the population worldwide would be convicted. But I fear that we're looked at as guilty for telling the truth, and even more so subsequently for unveiling the proof. Propagandas are the only thing compelling the news. When it comes to power, I can see an upscale of abuse. Everything's taken out of context. Apparently, we can't transparently see beyond what's taking place on set. And because voicing the facts seems to annoy you, in fact, it always ends up setting off an onset. Enlightening the ignorant is like trying to educate children on sex. If only politics was exempt of these awful tricks and not vexed. If only nobody chose to cling to comforting lies, living in the shadow of deceit, witnessing patented catastrophes and then wondering why. While you abstain from any realization, you keep yourself contained inside this placement. Mint. Forget the dentist because it's your mental wisdom that's suffering from decayment. Has humanity changed for the worst since we were cavemen? Our biological advancements mixed in with our egotistical visuals aren't exactly a great blend. Do people just feel actual hatred for anyone who makes a factual statement? Disclosure can come at a deadly price, but torture can take up over half of your payment. With an imaginary sense of freedom, there's no need to worry about reverting back to enslavement. I'm staring at the stars with my back to the pavement, trying to give you the rundown without being run down. You figure that telling it like it is would at least make someone proud. If only I was unbound by these unnecessary threats in this temporary flesh, promised the destiny of death, all the while living out this contemporary mess, that maybe I wouldn't have to worry about being massacred or gunned down. Because of the fact that this world is unsound Nothing will change as long as comprehension is unfound And the masses keep following the unfounded And the world's population is diminished To the extent where there's nothing left And they're wallowing in the thousands You can never be certain of what's behind the curtains of every person The possibilities are infinite And time is limitless but irreplaceable And we only have one life to decide Because we can't experience every version as for the world, will it come down to authorities fighting insurgents? I wish we could see characters joining one another in real li life, not just when we're writing in cursive. I hope there is something that you've derived from these verses, and always remember that you can still better yourself even if your life isn't perfect. I myself intend to live out the life of a wordsmith.